Hello everyone, welcome back to Momentos de Tecnología and into this opportunity we're very glad to show you our uh, video regarding our experience with the Unify Switch 24 family of the US 24 on the internet. Remember that this is the first generation of power over ethernet switches that you can see in the Unify uh, website and of which you're going to find a lot of information in the website. Of course, right here, you're going to see our experience with this 24 port um, switch. Very, very interesting with two SFP ports right here and which has two versions in which each one has 250 watts of power and 500 watts of power in their power supplies. Okay, right here we see that the 48 port has two SFP plus ports. Very important if you're going to have uplinks into which data is going to be concentrated and where you're going to concentrate a lot of communications into another dependency of your enterprise network. We strongly recommend watching our other video regarding the SFP connections in which you're going to be able to uh, evaluate um, not only how to install them but what hardware to use. Okay, always in packaging and unboxing Unified devices has been an experience. Uh, it comes with a very good quality packaging. It has, this one is a device that has uh, a wig that shows exactly what it is made of, uh, usually made of very tough materials and very well made components. Uh, right here we see the power cable. It comes with its mounting screws. And right here, as you can see, the side brackets are part of the whole body right here. Mm, a very very strong device and a very thick material that it is in front because it, it has a weight that usually is gonna need that strength. In the front you're going to see all the 24 power supplied uh, ports and the back you're going to find the DB9 uh, serial cable for the console and the power supply connection. On the left side on the right side you're going to see the intakes of the ventilation system and on the right on the left side you're going to find the exhaust of that air that is going to flow in this direction. Fans a little bit noisy for our taste. Um, right here you're going to find the SFP ports, uh, one gigabit connections. You're going to find right here in the left side the status LED, uh, which is going to turn blue once you adopt the device and has been um, successfully connected to our network. As usually, we like to make a close-up take of our of our switch 24 ports that provide in this case in this model 20, 250 watts of power combined that doesn't mean that it is not going to be able to provide power uh, in the whole 24 ports right here the initial configuration is going to draw about 19 to 22 watts of power of consumption very interesting very nice data for those of you who are obsessed with a green planet Right here, this one shows you how um, the device boots up. And right here, we're going to connect it to our network in the switch port number one. And right here, some of the devices that you're going to be able to power up using the power over ethernet. Right here, you have access points like the Inwall uh, HD that has an incorporated switch, the G4 camera, the cloud key generation family, uh, generation 2 family uh, which we recommend you watch the video about the unified cloud key generation 2 plus and right here it is drawing 24 watts of power with three cameras it uh, finally ended up drawing about 40 watts of power right here we log into our UDM Pro which is going to be our network controller remember that you can have any other network controller or Windows based controller and it shows right here in the upper right part of the screen that it has already detected the device and it is ready to be added. Uh, we usually don't like to add it right here. We usually uh, like to add it later, I'll show you why. And we are seeing right here the latest dashboard uh, that is available through the latest uh, update of the cloud key of the Unify controller. Um, what we do is go to the left side and we go to the category of devices right here. And we're going to see that our switch, the US24, is available to be adopted right here or like I like I told you a few moments ago you can previously to the adoption you can upgrade it as you can see right here in the other link uh, once you adopt it once you adopt the device all the configuration that has been set up 
and the configuration of the network right here. We recommend you, you watch our video regarding how to make VLANs, uh, port profiles, assign uh, different networks to each one of the ports. Mm, right here, the, 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 the network controller is going to send that information over to the switch. Right here, we have a few uh, networks that have been uh, uh, created. We recommend you watch our videos regarding all these matters in our website. Uh, some of them are in English, some of them are in Spanish. We're in the process of creating the translation of most of our videos. And right here we have uh, the port profiles, which are very useful. Uh, the port isolation, the VLANs, and all the configurations that you can make to each one of these switches is just amazing. And you can have a lot of power administrating or managing your networks, which you can do very easily with the network controller of Unify. Uh, right here at the upper right, you have the menu button that will let you choose which one of the columns that you would like to show um, have the information that is relevant for you. Remember that what is relevant for you may not be relevant for other uh, users. Right here, we're going to be able to show the insights of each one of the devices that I have in my network, but not only the insight of the devices on my network, but the stats of the switches right here we see that we don't have anything connected to the switch as it has been just installed okay but what happened 15 days later after we submitted our unit to very tough tests and very demanding tasks it really showed us that the us 24 250 watts is a very reliable unit and right here we can see all the stats about all the tests that we put it through uh, another very interesting thing that we can see over here is the link aggregation as we can see in these ports. Uh, we submitted this unit to a very interesting test in which you're going to be able to see it in one of our other videos that you can see in the description, which is link aggregation in order to solve um, bottlenecks that are in your network and that you can partially solve by using the link aggregation that it actually surprised us that to see that you can make link aggregation in the fiber optic links. Very interesting topic, very useful for some of you. And you can make link aggregation with the SFP ports and you can make link aggregation with copper and SFP ports. Some very interesting conclusions that we come up with uh, in that video regarding especially performance of the link aggregation system in Unify. Right here on the insight, we can see a lot of information that is very useful for us network administrators in which we have, um, by activating, of course, this column, like the status of the link, the actual status of the link, which one is the port that is being used the most, right here in switch stats, and which one is the one that needs attention. And finally, for those of you who are uh, much into power over ethernet, you can customize the columns that show all the information regarding power over ethernet like for example the the pd class of the device that it is connected the power the voltage the current and the mode in which that device is operating currently thank you very much for watching this video we really appreciate your opinion your subscription to our channel and hope to see you back soon in another tech moment